Hey guys, this is ZG Animator, and today we're going to make a Lego Man in Blender 2.5. Uh, before I, I even start, I want to apologize for not uploading any uh, Blender tutorials in a while. I've just been really, 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 really busy, and uh, I didn't even have time to sit down and record anything. So here I'm finally done with all of that, and uh, I have a while with a lot of free time on my hands, so we're, I'm going to be making a lot more tutorials. So I got a request to make a Lego man, so I'm going to do that before I do uh, the head modeling tutorial, just so I can give you guys to watch that's not super long. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is pull up my reference image. So we're just going to move this over here like so, and uh, just bring this down here. We're going to use this window as our reference window. So we're going to go to the UV image editor, and then we're going to go to image, and we're going to hold control and press open. That way we can see where to go. And let's see, I want to go to, there we go, man, I want this one right here. And I just pulled this off Google Images, they have plenty of uh, Lego Man uh, references on there. So this is what we're going to use as our reference. So we can actually bring this in right about there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make the torso first. Let's press 5 on our numpad to get out of um, perspective and go into orthographic. And then we can just go ahead and use our cube. And when we press tab to go into edit mode, you'll see that our image is gone. But all I have to do is reselect it here. Okay, so first we want to make this oblong shape here. So let's select all. Uh, let's box select the bottom and just bring it down here to about there, I, I believe. Let's select everything and just bring it up to about there. Now let's box select this bottom part. Press E to extrude on the Z axis to about there. And this part will be the the beginning of his pants leg region. And then we'll go ahead and press Alt, right click to select this loop. Press V to rip and then right click to cancel out the movement. Press L to uh, select the connected piece, press P, and separate it. Now, if we just leave, we uh, we don't have any, uh, we don't have a face at the bottom. So just press F with those vertexes, or vertices selected, and that should do it. Yeah, we have a full face there. So now you want to do the same for this bottom part. It doesn't have a face yet, so just select it and press F. And, uh, okay, so box like this and bring it down here since there's a little bit of a, a separation as you can see here and yeah so there we have our to torso pretty much done now let's go ahead and start the head so the head's going to be fairly simple just press shift a here uh, go ahead and add a tube oh, the presets are fine uh, press tab to go into edit mode bring it up press sz to scale it to the approximate size here now you want to go ahead and delete these center vertices here. Now what you want to do is go ahead and uh, select this uh, edge loop here, press shift D on the Z axis, bring it down, scale it in, and then select both of these, press shift F. Ah, See we have a problem here that uh, uh, Blender for 2.5 for some reason, usually when you press F uh, you get the skinning properties that you want uh, and usually I would uh, add uh, the faces to the edge loops but for some reason that won't come up so we just have to do it a little bit different so just we just have to use extrus extrusions so just select it press E go down scale in to right about there GZ there and we'll do the same for the top here E to extrude up and scale to right about there Okay, so now let's make the top part. Press E to extrude and then just scale in like this to about there. Press E on the Z to about there. And now we're going to press E again. Scale in and E again. And move it down on the Z. Now we're going to make his neck. And press E to extrude. Scale in to about there. And then E to extrude and just extrude down. Let's go ahead and select everything and just bring it down to about there. And bring it over a little bit like there. Okay, let's go ahead and add a subsurface, subdivision surface modifier. 
if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to keep calling it subsurf modifier, since that's the term I, I uh, used to learn, Blender. Okay, so now we're just going to uh, go ahead and sharpen up these edges by adding edge loops with Control R. Bring this down here. Bring this up as well. Put one in the center. Oh, that's a glitch, so we need to just edge slide. Yeah. Uh, let's delete this edge loop here. Sometimes uh, you get uh, glitches like that that don't let you add edge loops. I'll show you one more time. I add an edge loop and try to move it. It just totally bugs out. So we're just going to keep that center vertex there like that. Now let's sharpen up these edges here. And you'll notice that uh, it's very sensitive. So if we just hold shift, it's not as uh, sensitive. Maybe if we zoom in, yeah. Okay, and you'll notice that these edges are also sharp here. So we just need to add the edge loops we need. Okay, there we go for that. Let's go ahead and add a subsurf modifier for both the torso and uh, starting point of the leg area. And we'll set these smooth. Now we just need to um, add the edge loops we need. Add two here in the front view. Add two in side view. Control R, click and drag. And then one more here along the top and bottom. Wait, I think I already added those, didn't I? Ah, this is what we need here. Along the middle. Oops. Accidentally added a edge loop here, an edge loop. Uh, see where we are on time. Okay, and we're just gonna do the same for the bottom part here. Uh, I am gonna show how to texture this, but it's just gonna be really, really, really basic texture. It's mainly just to show how to model this. Um. Okay, so I think we can add the starting point for the legs as well. So add another tube. Tap to go into edit mode, R, Y, 90. Press G, Z, bring it down. Now we'll just scale it down here. Scale it on the Z axis a little bit. And you want to make sure it's intersecting so it looks like it's kind of plastered on there. Actually, um, it's, we don't want to scale on the Z axis because then it looks kind of smushed. Uh, that's good. So smooth. Uh, smooth shading. Subsurf modifier smooth. Okay, um, so one, one thing I want to show you guys is that one thing you may notice, um, when you turn on a subdivision surface modifier with a mesh that has uh, a center vertex that uh, is joined with uh, a, a lot of triangles, you get this weird um, shredding effect going on. And you think, well, I'll just add some edge loops at the edges. And that does help, but it doesn't fix it. And I'll show you why, because we still get it at the edges here. So a really easy way to fix that is to select the center vertex, press X, delete the vertex. Now select this edge loop, press E to extrude, scale in, E to extrude, scale in, E to extrude, scale in. Just want to do this a few times to make sure that there's no, uh, there's no artifacting like that going on. And then on the center one, just press Alt M merge at center. And because it's so small, you won't be able to see the artifacts. And that's a really easy way to get rid of stuff like that. Because and the reason it fixes it is because when we extrude in, it extrudes all quads. And quads are very necessary when it comes to modeling and animation in general. Okay, so that's enough for this part here. Let's go ahead and save it really quick. Save as um, desktop blender tutorials. Lego Man. Alright, so this is part one on how to make a Lego Man in Blender 2.5. And be sure to watch the next parts. And uh, I'm sorry again for not uploading and making tutorials as uh, much as I had been. And that will go up to normal again. So that's it for this part. And thanks for watching. Alright guys, thanks.